when you hit one of these, you want everybody walking past to be like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like, oh, your hair smells so good. Yes. You could be like, oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Wow. But you knew. You knew your hair smelled good, girl. You knew. I love that for you. <laughs> Hey friends! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Linda Lore. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal development and personal finances. So if you enjoy conversations like that, definitely subscribe and join the party. Really excited today. We're gonna be shaking it up a little bit, and we're gonna be talking about hygiene. You might be like, what does this have to do with personal development? Well. When you are feeling comfortable with your hygiene, then you're feeling confident to step out into the world and make those moves that you need to make. You know what I mean? You're more confident. When you're confident, the world sees you as confident and they trust you better and you trust yourself better because you're confident in yourself. You know what I mean? So it's all just do -do 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 -do. it all go hand in hand. So I'm really excited to talk about this topic and you know, a little bit of a disclaimer. Listen, anybody who's in the comments talking about whose mother didn't teach them this, how do you guys not know this your comments gonna get deleted and you are gonna get blocked that's for sure because this is a safe space and if you're bashing other women for just living and existing and trying their best to be their best you are disgusting and you're tired it's 2021 a big big 2021 and we're uplifting women we empower women we support women and when a woman doesn't know something that she just simply doesn't know we just put her up on game and that's that because we friends we sisters and we share the knowledge so listen i'm gonna be sharing all the tips on staying fresh and clean and smelling good all the time and hopefully you guys enjoy this video drop down below some tips that maybe you picked up from this video or some things that you know that i didn't mention in this video you know sharing is caring also another slight very slight disclaimer this video is going to be catering to the women's but if you're a man, you could still definitely take away some tips from this video, absolutely. And if you don't feel like you can, just pass it along to your sister or your girlfriend or maybe even your mother. Sharing is caring, okay? And we're normalizing conversations about the body because the body is a natural thing. So it should be natural for us to talk about it, right? So anyways, no more long talk. We're gonna get right into this video. And the first topic that I wanna talk about is body odor and perspiration. It's also a perfect time to mention this video sponsor. I wanna give a major shout out to Native for sponsoring today's video. The reason why I love Native deodorant is because it's aluminum free and it's a clean deodorant. I want to show you because that might be a little strange or whatever, but I've been using them. <laughs> I found that when I was using deodorant that didn't have aluminum, although they were great for my underarmpits, like my underarmpits were looking pretty and whatnot, they weren't really doing what they needed to do. Like I wasn't getting the support throughout the days that I needed. But what I love about this deodorant is that it actually does work. Like for me to have an aluminum free clean deodorant that works, like it's a win-win for me. It's also vegan and cruelty-free. So the scents that I got were the sweet peach and nectar, the lavender and rose, and the cucumber and mint. If none of these scents are really calling your name, they also have a wide range of scents for you, like the paradise flower and amber, tangerine and citrus, and others. I would definitely say my favorites were between the cucumber and mint and the sweet peach and nectar. And another thing that I really love about this is that it's not sticky. Like it literally feels so good and so smooth. It dries quickly and like it's amazing for when you're on the go so three deodorants are normally $36 but if you use my link and my code Allure you'll get them for $24 so that'll be 33% off and with my code Allure you're also able to get 20% off of their other products like body washes and toothpaste which is amazing so thanks again to native for sponsoring this video links in my description bar let's keep going into this video all right so I still want to talk about the armpits and personal perspiration and body odor. So when we're talking about deodorants or antiperspirant, it's important to note the difference between the two. So an antiperspirant stops you or reduces the sweating. It doesn't necessarily stop it completely, but it's supposed to reduce the sweating and minimize the amount of perspiration. That's an antiperspirant. A deodorant, on the other hand, isn't meant to stop the sweating. It's not an antiperspirant, but it's there to more so 
remove or conceal or mask the smell. So you still might sweat, it's just not gonna stink. Whereas an antiperspirant is meant to help you stop sweating or reduce the amount of sweating. So if you're someone who sweats easily, what you're gonna need is an antiperspirant. A deodorant's not gonna cut it for you. If you're one of those people who don't really sweat much, but you can get body odor from time to time, you can definitely get away with just using a deodorant and that's fine. Listen, some people might have a lot to say about me, but one thing no one's ever gonna be able to say about me is that I'm less baby. Absolutely nobody who's ever been in my presence can ever say that I smell, but it wasn't always like this, you know? Like, I'm not holier than thou. Puberty and hair is growing where it never used to grow and the body odor is odoring. I had to learn my body and, you know, when your body's going through these changes, it's totally okay. When I was in elementary school, actually, I was like 11, I think. I used to be in a lot of sports. I used to play a lot of sports as like a kid and as a teen and I used to play soccer. And this girl, Taylor, shout out to Taylor for being a mean girl. But she used to like try to talk mess about like my smell. She, I guess she was trying to say that I smell, but she never said it to my face, of course, cause like she was scared. But I just knew that she was saying something. I just knew. One time we had a tournament and she kept like putting on her timer to be like, Okay guys, it's time for everyone to put on their deodorant. Eastland, are you gonna put on your deodorant? And I was like, Every single time her timer went off, she was sure to call my name and be like, Eastlin, come put on your deodorant. <laughs> and she would try to be like, make slick little remarks. And I was like, oh no, this little Oompa Loompa chick is not about to try and tell me that I smell a type of way. Like that is what's not gonna happen. But yeah, ever since that incident, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm gonna be on top of my smell good game. And one thing about me, I'm always gonna stay fresh. Cause I just remember how that felt and I hated that feeling. I was like, uh-uh, it's never again. I definitely took my hygiene very, very seriously. And a lot of that has to do with knowing the difference between an antiperspirant and a deodorant. All right, so next we're gonna be talking about hair baby yes hair now i am a black girl and we do not wash our hair every day and that might also be a part of the reason why that girl felt like she could sun me because you know i went to school with like barely any black girls and i was one of the only girls who didn't come to school with like wet hair from washing it first thing in the morning like that just isn't a thing for it's not an option for me and my hair type but i do keep my hair very clean and it always smells good and the tips that i'm going to share here is that washing your hair on a regular basis is bad for not all hair types but if you have very curly thick hair it could be very bad for your hair because it takes time for the oils in your scalp to get down to the rest of your shaft so if you're washing your hair every day that is very drying and it can actually damage your hair so my compromise here is to wash your hair with conditioner from time to time so for me i can co-wash my hair maybe every other day like i'll wash my hair but i'll use conditioner and i'll share with you guys the top products that i use actually so currently my favorite like uh, go-to shampoo is this cleansing conditioner. And this cleansing conditioner is from the Gold Series from Pantene. I've always loved Pantene products. This is the Gold Series specifically for like girls with curly hair or like more of an ethnic texture. It's a shampoo, but it's more like hydrating and conditioning. So like I use this on a regular basis. It is said to gently remove buildup but it's a cleansing conditioner. So it still like washes your hair, but it's very hydrating and it is a conditioner as well. So I use this on a regular basis. This right here for my hair is a go-to. I love these products on my natural hair. My hair is actually like 4C texture. I do not have a relaxer. I do not have any chemicals in my hair at all. I just get silk presses from time to time, but when I don't have a silk press, I just like use my products and I'll do my cornrows and throw on some extensions on. I also love to cleanse my hair with African black soap. Like a lot of people use this on their face for acne, but black soap is a natural and very inexpensive soap to use. It just cleanses everything. It gets you very like silky clean. And I saw this in a video where someone was using black soap in their hair and I was like, what? Never seen this before, but I did it in my hair. My hair loved it. So it's actually just in this I keep I keep my soaps in this little like soap container in my shower so that it doesn't like constantly get wet and just like all the product diminish and it also keeps my shower like clean. I'll link down below where you can get it on Amazon. I got my African black soap in Ghana but 
you can get it at the African grocery store. Some beauty supplies sell it. And then from time to time, I'll do like a deep clean in my hair. And that's when I'll go to a salon and they'll do like a clarifying shampoo for me and then a nice treatment for me and then do a silk press for me. And I'll do that about once a month with my natural hair. Another tip as well is to use a hair spray, like a hair fragrance specifically for your hair because putting regular perfume in your hair is drying because there's alcohol. So if you can get a really good hair fragrance, it's amazing because it smells good, but it doesn't dry out your hair. So those are your options there. Like hair fragrance is definitely a thing. Don't think you could just spray your hair with perfume and it'll be fine. No, your hair is going to get dry and damaged. Your I hate that for you, sis. Don't, don't do it to yourself. Get yourself a hair fragrance that is specifically for making your hair smell good. When you hit one of these, you want everybody walking past to be like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like when people tell you, oh, your hair smells so good. Yes. You could be like, oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Wow. But you knew. You knew your hair smelled good, girl. You knew. I love that for you. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we're gonna be talking about the oral hygiene, baby. Ooh, this one is so important because, listen, if you're sharing space with someone and they're in close proximity, the last thing you want is to feel self-conscious about your breath and constantly be like stepping back and whatnot. Like, don't do that. It's okay, I got us. Let's talk about it. Okay, first of all, brushing your teeth is really important and people talk about this all the time, but what a lot of people miss is the flossing and the tongue scraper. You need yourself a tongue scraper, okay? Because a lot of the bacteria and food and like things that cause bad breath get stuck in between our teeth and on our tongue and also the roof of our mouth as well, like the roof of your gums. So what you're gonna wanna do first is to use a toothbrush that is electrical. And you don't actually have to spend a lot of money on an electrical toothbrush. You can get them for like 20 bucks at the drugstore, 25 bucks on Amazon. Like they're pretty inexpensive and there's no reason why you should have a toothbrush that isn't electrical at this day and age. This one is the Oral-B toothbrush. I think it was like $30 and it comes with the charger. So you don't have to replace it with batteries. I hate the one that you have to replace with batteries. Like I just don't like buying batteries, you know? So this one you could just plug in, you just put it on the stand. The only time I'll use a non electrical toothbrush is if I'm traveling because I do not like traveling with my actual toothbrush. I just feel like, I don't know, it's a little bit of germaphobe in me. I just don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. But this one is a mechanical. Love that for us. You need this. It's only $25 and you can get the replaceable heads, right? So like if this one gets old, the replaceable head is so inexpensive. So with this, you wanna brush for at least one minute and some electrical toothbrush like this one will start pulsate a few times after it's hit the one minute mark. After the one minute mark, I start going on the roof of my tongue, like the roof of my mouth, the sides of my mouth, the other sides and underneath my tongue. And I do that for another minute. It might be a little bit excessive, but like I'm afraid of having bad breath, Especially Especially when you're sharing close space with someone okay but you know what I mean so you're gonna use this first then you're gonna go in with your flops bang and you're gonna get in between the teeth now people be missing this spot but I promise you flossing makes a huge huge difference in your oral hygiene please don't skip the floss step please because this is what creeps up and makes your breath smell bad okay I promise you if you don't floss you're gonna get cavities like oh my god yeah uh, here I am the dentist police but not only the cavities because that takes some time to happen but the bad breath that can happen like tomorrow you know, like if you don't floss today and the same food that you ate today is stuck in your teeth tomorrow, like floss. Okay. And then you want to go through with your tongue scraper and what you're going to want to do, there's spikes over here and then there's like a little scraper up at the top. Now you're going to go ting, 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 ting. Then you're going to use the top part and scrape it off, right? Like let's say this is your tongue and it's coming out your mouth, right? You're going to go bam, 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 right? And then you're going to tilt it that way so you can scrape it off. Uh, uh, get it out, okay? <laughs> wash, wash your uh, tongue scraper in the sink. And then you're gonna go through with your Listerine. All right, so this is the Listerine that I'm using currently. It's the Listerine Total Care. It has zero alcohol. So you finish with this, you can go ahead and eat your breakfast or like just eat and you're fine. Like it doesn't taste weird. I still wait a few and most of the time in the morning, I'm not really hungry anyway, so I don't eat right after brushing my teeth anyways. But if you are a person who's very hungry first thing in the morning, like if you use the total care zero with zero alcohol, 
like you can just go right into having your breakfast and it's not gonna taste funny all right so next we're gonna be talking about that shower care baby all right i use dove once again this one is the pomegranate and hibiscus tea one i like the way that this one smells i really do like it like all of them really they just smell good so i usually use this as a body wash just to get like all the dirt off my skin but major key alert so this is gonna help you to get clean right but I use this right here. This is the Mario Badescu AHA Botanical Body Soap. This stuff is the truth when it comes to like having your skin feel soft, look soft, and like look shiny and clear. Cause listen, I'm someone who has had like the body acne and the scarring, like I deal with that. But this soap right here, is so instrumental for just like having it super clear because it is an exfoliating soap. It has natural fruit acids that help you to exfoliate and it sloshes away the dead skin. So I love this product. After I shower with this and I'm like clean and everything, I'll go in with this and this is more so for like the appearance of my skin because sadly, like as someone who has dealt with like the scarring on the skin and stuff, like when your skin doesn't look clean, you don't feel clean it can kind of give people the assumption that your body isn't clean sadly it sucks because like hyperpigmentation and scarring on your body is completely different from dirt on your body but we live in a dumb society this really helps with like the scarring and like slothing away that dead skin to give you that nice shiny glow on your skin and your body this size of a bottle is about 15 dollars whereas this size of a bottle is about five dollars so if you're looking at the difference here, like this is a little bit more expensive, right? So that's why I shower with this first to like get me clean, get me smelling good. I can be a little bit generous and frivolous with how I spread this on my loofah. But this right here, I take my time with it. You know what I mean? And plus a little bit goes a long way once you're already clean from using this. So I like to put this on my body and let it sit a little bit. Like I just kind of put it all over. I use my loofah and I just put it on the skin. Yada, yada, yada. I kind of let it sit for just like a minute. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I feel like it makes a difference. So I do it. You know what I mean? But yes, I really love how this soap works. When I get out of the shower, I make sure to use my body butters, shea butter and coconut oil. Those are like my go-tos for moisturizing my skin. Like I said, I can be prone to breaking out on my body. So I don't like to use too much on top of my skin. So shea butter and coconut oil, it's always like my go-to keeps me nice and moisturized and it doesn't irritate my skin or clog up my pores and make me break out. This has worked for me specifically. So I'm not trying to tell anybody like, this is gonna solve all your problems. But for me, it's definitely worked. Another thing that's great for like getting your skin clean or feeling and looking clean as well is dry brushing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use like an exfoliating glove or exfoliating brush on your skin while you're dry before you get into the shower and what that does is it detoxifies your skin it takes off all of the dead skin on your body it also increases the blood circulation to your body and it can even help with cellulite so that is amazing but yes dry brushing is definitely a nice addition to add to your skincare regimen your skin is actually your largest organ so detoxifying it and making sure that it's nice and clean is amazing not only for your health but for your overall hygiene as well okay so now we're gonna talk about the diet baby now listen you are what you eat you are what you eat and I didn't understand that until I understood it that you are what you eat and now let me tell you what I mean by this if you're someone who has a very spicy diet you're body odor is gonna smell different than someone who just puts salt and pepper on their food. Now there's been a lot of stuff circulating the internet talking about like, you know, people who shower like once every three days, once every four days, once a week, like, what works for them might not work for you because you use spices in your food. And I had to learn this the hard way because I love, love cooking with garlic and onions, sometimes curry, adobo, maggi cube. I love it. It makes the food taste so good. But a spicy diet means spicy body odor. Okay, and I noticed this a while back. There was some time that I had like an obsession with samosas. I used to live by a really good Indian food spot and their samosas were, oh, ooh, 
so good. I used to kill that food every day. To this day, I still do, okay? I still love my spicy food. I still love my Indian food, but just know that if you're eating foods with like very pungent or very potent spices, that it's gonna show up in your diet. That time that I was obsessed with those samosas and I would literally eat them every single day after school, I noticed that my body, or I was like, hold on, na na na, na hold on. Why does my sweat smell? This is different, like I'm not used to this. You know what I mean? Like I'm really not used to this. So that's just something that you have to be mindful of. You can kind of do a balance, you know, kind of do the bland foods that don't really have the spices and then incorporate the spicy foods. Like, you know, go back and forth, but just know if you're eating a lot of onions and garlics and very like potent spices in your diet, it's gonna show up in your body odor. So you are what you eat. Something that will really help with this though is drinking a whole lot of water. That really does help with like detoxifying your body. But not only that, but adding mint chlorophyll to your water is very helpful for deodorizing your body as well. Like add some mint chlorophyll into your routine. A lot of people have said that it's great for your skin and other things too. So I would definitely recommend trying some mint chlorophyll. So this is the brand that I use. Is it chlorophyll mint or mint chlorophyll? I don't really know. It's chlorophyll and it's the mint flavor. So I add this to my water. It tastes fine. Like it doesn't taste like anything disgusting. It looks gross. It looks like it would taste gross, but it actually doesn't. It tastes very refreshing actually. It tastes like peppermint water or something. But yes, this really helps with deodorizing your body. Cause like I said, like I cook with spices and I don't see that changing anytime soon. I love spices in my food. I don't really handle spicy food too well, but I love spices. So like Mexican food, Indian food, African food, like I love it all, but I just am mindful that that will show up in my BO and I don't want that. I don't want those kind of problems. So I just add, you know, some of this to my water and it's great for deodorizing your body and also your skin. So love that for us. Fran, I've been doing a whole lot of talking. If you're still with me, go ahead and like that, like that button, right? Go ahead and put that thumbs up. I'll wait, I'll wait, it's okay, I'll wait. All right, cool. I'm also gonna put you up on another concoction that'll change the game for you, and that's these two babies right here. Basically, it's some pineapple juice with some apple cider vinegar. Yes, my apple cider vinegar is almost done because I drink it every single day. But yes, mixing these two together, thank me later. This is an amazing concoction that is just great for like your body odors and body fluids, just staying nice and fresh and clean all the time. Just Thank me later, thank me later. Okay, so since we're talking about body fluids, baby, we're gonna talk about the ancillary areas, baby. Okay, so yes, drink that pineapple and apple cider vinegar as a concoction, yes. <laughs> Just thank me later, thank me later. What we're talking about the cookie, okay. What you wanna do when you're washing there is to use a soap that is not fragrance. I cannot stress this enough. Using fragrance soaps on your intimate areas is so bad for your pH balance, specifically for the women. When you use soaps that have like too many chemicals or too many fragrances, it throws off the pH balance of your down there. You risk having things like a yeast infection or causing irritation to that area, itching, scratching, all of that. You do not want to have any type of harsh chemicals or fragrances around that intimate area. Something that's really great to use is like a bar soap from Dove, like just a simple bar soap. I'm tired of running to my bathroom. I'm not gonna get up again. But just basically, I'll, I'll pop a picture right here, just a bar soap to wash your intimate areas. And also please note that your lady part is going to have a natural scent, but it should not be a foul smell. That's something to note, right? Like a natural scent versus a foul smell are two different things. It's not gonna smell like roses and cookies and candy and like sweet berries and juices. Like it's, it's not gonna smell like that unless you're putting some fragrance there, which you shouldn't be doing. If you do want to put like fragrance around that area, I would say like if you're gonna spray your perfume, spray it on your belly button, you know? It's not gonna smell sweet, but it's also, it shouldn't smell fishy either. Like it shouldn't be a foul smell. If you crossed your legs on the couch or something, you shouldn't now smell like a fish market. Like it shouldn't be a fishy smell. It also should not be like a sweet smell. 
and it's okay if it smells like either you can definitely get it back to the middle ground which is just a natural scent and that's by avoiding things that have fragrance in that area and washing regularly and natural like i said i'll pop over here and then also if you're finding that you're washing regularly and you're still noticing some sort of smell that is irregular then pay attention to your diet are you drinking plenty of water and also are you drinking you know that the pineapple juice and apple cider vinegar or anything? are you using that also if that's still not working with your diet pay attention to your sugars drinking too much sugar is actually really bad for your intimate areas and it can cause you to have a yeast infection if you're eating too much sugar my grandma always used to tell me like every time she see me eating anything with sweets she's like what's wrong with you like you're gonna you're gonna spoil your your bottom parts and i'm just like what what are you talking about but yes i realized as i got older i was like oh, okay this is what she meant like if you eat a lot of sugars in your diet that can actually throw off your ph balance and um cause you to have a yeast infection and cause you to you know like just be uncomfortable or unhealthy down there that's definitely something that you want to pay attention to and if all of that's still not working you're minding your diet you're drinking your water and you're using non-fragranced gentle soaps down there and you're still noticing something's off definitely go and see a gynecologist go and see a doctor to make sure that you know everything's okay and healthy down there just do your regular gynecologist visits and for the fellas like I don't know. Do fellas go see the guy? I don't think they do. Why don't fellas have something? Do the, do the fellas have a, a, a male version? Like, a, I've never really thought about that. But for the ladies, go and see the guy now. That's the thing. Okay. Go and see the guy now regularly. Just check up on your lady parts. Check up on your lady friend. Just make sure that she's good. You know, it's okay. It's all good. Check up on her because she takes care of you. So make sure you're taking care of her back. You know, be friendly to her. All right, and the next thing that I want to talk about is perfume. Okay, so when it comes to perfume, not all expensive perfume smells good and not all cheap perfume smells bad, okay? So I'm gonna put you up on game on some of my favorite perfumes at the moment. All right, so starting from inexpensive over to like the more pricier, this is one of my favorite perfumes that is very inexpensive. It's the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This used to be like my everyday when I was like first starting out my corporate and I would always get compliments on this perfume. Like it's only about $60 and it smells amazing and it's a perfume, not a body spray because I know like Victoria's Secret and Pink, those kind of stores, they sell body sprays often, but this one is an actual perfume and you just need to spray it in the morning time and you smell good and you're good to go. And I would spray this in the morning and still be getting compliments around like four o'clock five o'clock in the evening so this was one of my favorites it's only about 60 bucks i love it another one from victoria's secret this one is victoria's secret fearless i like the bombshell one a little bit more but this one i still got a lot of compliments on i used to wear this when i used to waitress and bartend and i would always get compliments on this as well a lot of the girls would be like oh you all smell good it's more of an evening scent i find but yeah this one's also only about 60 bucks smells really good why did i stop wearing that I got a little bougie and just like stop wearing my little cheapy perfumes, I guess. But when they were on sale, they were about 60, 70 bucks at Victoria's Secret. Another one that I really love is the Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This one's more of like a winter scent or a nighttime scent. Oh, so good. So, so good. Yes, definitely more of like a nighttime scent or like even a winter scent it's very warm smelling but like just smells rich smells so good it smells hypnotic that's what it smells like oh so good this is another one that i love another one that i love this one is the love relentlessly by tori birch this is only the roll-on because this is actually currently my signature go-to that i'll wear like on an everyday basis mm, really good it smells really good this is my go-to every day currently i had the full bottle i should say but it got stolen I don't want to talk about it traumatic but yes i had a full bottle i'm gonna restock probably tomorrow or the day after that but the last perfume that i really really love right now which, which is like my go-to at the moment is the love don't be shy by killian this perfume smells oh so good mm. It smells so good. This perfume, apparently it's the official perfume that Rihanna wears and I could understand why. It is so, so freaking good. I always get compliments on it. It doesn't matter where I go or what time I wear it, I get compliments on this perfume. It has like a marshmallow type of scent to it, but it's pricey. It was like 400 and something dollars or something like that. So a bit on the pricey side, but 
I love it. It smells amazing and it's my go-to. Another one that I actually really like is this Tom Ford one and it's the Black Orchid by Tom Ford. This one is a very gender neutral scent, by the way. I find that I've seen men love this. I've seen women love this. For me, this is very much a winter scent. So I haven't worn it recently. We're in the middle of summer. But yeah, this is definitely a winter or winter night scent. I would not wear this in the summer. I would not wear it in the summer night either but with like cold air this scent to me is like very upper echelon expensive i love how it smells it's gender neutral those let me know what your favorite perfumes are at the moment because i'm definitely about to stock up on some new ones i have my eyes on some new fragrances that i definitely want to like <laughs> pick up <laughs> but yes those are my go-to's so i'm gonna tell you how i layer now so basically what you want to do is like find your hot spots on your body for me it's like my inner elbows my wrist my like inner thighs not around my groin area but like my inner thigh area behind my knees and my stomach like right here on my stomach those are like my hot areas so what you want to do is put a little bit of vaseline on these areas and then you want to put the lotion on the area okay and then you want to spray on that area and what that does the vaseline acts like a barrier after you lotion your skin of course like let's say you, you're lotioning with shea butter or coconut oil or whatever like you put your body butter or your body oils on your body and then you want to put the little bit of Vaseline here so that it acts as like a sticky barrier for your fragrances to stick to so once you put the little bit of Vaseline there you're gonna put the lotion over it and then you're gonna spray on top of it it layers it stays all day and it smells amazing another little tip about smelling good all the time is to keep it within the same family like if you're gonna do more of like the playful youthful sweet smells stick to that like playful youthful sweet smell if you're gonna do more of like the cucumber mint smell stick to that if you're gonna go more the route of like more marshmallow or like warm you know cozy fuzzy smells then stick to that but basically like stick within the same family of scents so that you're not giving people headaches when you walk past and it's just like too much to process you don't want to walk past people and they're now like sneezing and like oh my god <laughs> and can't take it right so yes that was it for this video i hope you picked up a tip or two this is so much fun to talk about something other than like money 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 all the time <laughs> let me know your thoughts on this video if there's anything that you picked up or if there are some tips that you want to share with our fellow friends and our family okay our friends on this community okay hugs everyone hugs thank you for sticking around to the end of the video if you made it this far please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and hit that like button because it really helps with the channel and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see more of what kind of videos you really are loving and yes that is it for today's video i love you guys so so much love you to the moon and back be true to you Mwah.